Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And before I dive in, I want to just give you a little summary, okay? At the beginning, really practical and busy. In the middle, a much more quiet but important. And then towards the end, it increasingly gets very romantic and delightful. So there's a lot to look forward to and a lot to talk about as well. Let's start with right out of the gate. We are going to start this month with a new moon. We're going to end this month with a new moon as well. So this rare phenomenon of two new moons in a single month speaks very powerfully to an overall theme of new beginnings. Now this first new moon will be happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. It has to do with your work and the workplace and the people who surround you there and the type of work you're doing. It has to do with the places that you frequent every day and that very often is the workplace. Our clients, our customers, our coworkers, all of that is covered here. And this part of the sky is also connected to our daily routines, our daily habits, including our health related habits. So here's what's happening with this new moon. It is happening close in the sky with Venus. Now that in and of itself can be a really beautiful, really hopeful energy. It can be an energy of blessings. However, it is going to be this new moon that will be speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. And this can be somewhat challenging. This can be change and new beginnings that we have really mixed feelings about or we're not sure if we like. It can be a sense of a new opportunity, but it also can feel a little bit frustrating, uh, a little bit uncertain. Now, whatever circumstances we may find ourselves in, it is going to be a full week into the month, a week later after this new moon, that the energy becomes so hopeful, so inspiring, so filled with possibility. So it is important not to get too caught up in a given moment of some change that you're not sure how you feel about. And if it is that, it seems uh, that there is an invitation by a loving universe to make a change to your health related habits. Well, it is going to be as we navigate even just a week into the month that you start to experience almost immediate benefits and some really good news on the health front. Now it is in the middle of the month that we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening across the sky from Venus and Mars. And what that suggests is some need to consider other perspectives and even an ability uh, to contemplate more deeply uh, what it is that different events could mean. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with closing karmic ties ending karmic chapters and knowing what it is that has served its karmic purpose in your life as well as karmic blessings as well now if it is that karmic blessings do show up uh, there might be some mixed feelings you know again there is that signature here through much of the month at the same time just days before this full moon we are going to have two big power players changing directions, essentially magnifying their energies that much more. Jupiter, your ancient ruling planet, will go direct. Very good news for you. And Uranus, the planet that rules this full moon, will be going retrograde. So heightened energies all around, given that this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that you have a natural correspondence to, it's that much more important to you to understand and to address the needs of this part of the sky. This is going to represent an important moment where you understand what it is that you want to carry forward. And more importantly though, what it is that perhaps you don't. There is going to be some deep connection about some truth about yourself. And this is ultimately a vision that gives you great strength and gives you a sense of purpose and direction. That is because, also because, 
it is Jupiter moving through the very top of your sky. If you have felt that matters of career and social standing or life purpose or just moving towards your goals, if in any way it has felt stagnated, it is going to be this change that allows you to feel momentum, grow and move forward. And this is gonna be part of what brings more and more opportunities as you navigate forward. Now we end the month on a truly beautiful high note thanks to the second new moon this month. This new moon will be happening close in the sky with Mars, with Mercury, with Venus. When we have such concentrated energy, it means that what is happening in that part of the sky is meaningful to many other parts of you. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with partnerships of all kinds, business partnerships, professional alliances, but romantic partnerships as well. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. So this is a very different energy than we start the month with. Whereas we had a conversation of tension at the beginning of the month, which can bring surprises that we really are not sure about, or maybe we don't even like. Well, it is as we navigate to the end of the month that the surprises are those that delight us, that inspire us, that help us to feel lifted and hopeful about the possibilities. This is energy that can feel like a lucky break that gives us cause to be hopeful and even to celebrate as well. So there's a lot to look forward to here. Helpful people, new partnerships of all kinds could find themselves to you, uh, whether they are business related, but of course, romantically. I think that a lot of Pisces out there are going to experience this energy where it comes to romantic possibility. That energy is only gonna grow as we move towards the later part of the month. It is gonna be about three weeks into the month that Mars and Venus move into your opposite sign. As we end the month and even start next month as well, we've got all these planets making beautiful connections with other power players, uh, including Uranus, next month Saturn, and Pluto. So there's lots to look forward to here, a real sense of possibility and connection. If you are open to meeting someone new, uh, this really is the kind of energy that can have love surprising you and just showing up for you. When we have important lunar energy in your opposite sign, it means that the universe wants you to learn about yourself in the context of love or in the context of partnership. And it does tend to bring with it someone who can help us to understand ourselves and where we are in love and why more deeply. Well, the good thing is, the great thing is actually that love may very well surprise you, feel like it comes out of nowhere, but also bring a lot of joy this month, increasingly as we move towards the final days. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, this can be really lovely energy. Now, if this is someone that you really feel a genuine connection with, you can find yourself feeling this excitement, this fresh start as you navigate towards the end of the month. But if it is that you're getting to know somebody but that might not be the person for you, well, then this can bring someone new into the picture that you can get excited and joyful and happy about. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this is wonderful for feeling a sense of fresh possibilities, fresh understanding, for feeling like you're starting a new chapter rooted in happiness for you and your partner. And this can be a time of a renewed understanding as well. Of all the signs out there, I do think that you are the sign most likely to feel that this was the month that put you on the pathway towards greater love than you've known before. What I love about this month for you, well, of course it is that beautiful energy that we will end the month with. I feel like this is so beautiful for you. It isn't just romantic possibility, but also platonic partnerships as well. As I said, business, professional alliances, wherever it is that you're hoping to connect with other people, to welcome in new people who can be part of your happiness, your joy, your success going forward. You've got lots of cosmic support for feeling like you truly are lucky for whom it is that you have met 
and whom it is that you are interacting with now. At the same time though, ultimately all of our connections and all of our partnerships are designed to bring us back to ourselves. They're designed to help us on our journey towards seeing ourselves more lovingly than we have before. And this month, the universe works overtime to help you appreciate just how blessed and how abundant you are. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.